Oh, Yuito, perfect timing. Could you come and help me in the kitchen? Okay, what's the matter? <laughs> what is this? I can't really see with the sensor in place. What in the world is on that plate? I thought I'd reward everyone with some homemade cooking for all the hard work they've been putting in. What? This is food? It has a really intense smell. That must be from all the spices. I'm actually not very good at cooking. This is beyond not very good. I wanted to get your advice because I know you're a really good cook. I want to make everyone happy. I see. Well, if that's the case, I'd love to help you. I'm not sure what exactly I can do about this, though. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Okay, I'll start with a vegetable stir-fry. Can you watch me? Done. Vegetables are so important for a balanced diet. Hmm. Why is this being censored again? I don't think this has much nutritional value. Let's start with something more simple, like fried eggs. Done. That was really simple and easy. Oh, there's the sensor again. That's so strange. How can you do this just from frying an egg? I almost feel like giving up. Now, what dish is coming next? Ow! Are you alright? I'm sorry. Hold on. It'll stop hurting if I take a short break. Are you sick or something? It's something chronic. I've had someone else's memories implanted inside my brain as part of my mission. The memories of Dr. Hitoyo Pope, Togetsu's founder. They sometimes give me headaches. One time her memories temporarily became stronger, and I almost forgot who I was. That sounds really dangerous. Yes, I may have fought her off once, but I never know when her memories will surface again. I thought I'd cook to distract myself, but it didn't work. I wonder if this will plague me for the rest of my life. If this doctor's memories are a part of you, then maybe. Y yes you're right I don't mean that in a bad way. I've been worried lately, too. You have? Yeah. There's so much I don't know that could happen with my brain or with the world. But I don't let these situations stop me. I keep moving forward. That led me to become friends with all of you. The future always comes with a sense of uncertainty. But it's not necessarily bad. I'm sure you're right. I never felt uncertain or worried when I was in Togetsu. In exchange, I had to bury all my feelings. Right now, I'm scared about the future. But I get to live my life the way I want. Yeah, you're so animated now. Thank you. I'm scared of the doctor's memories because I care so much about who I am now. Okay, my headache is gone. Let's get back to cooking. All right. Let me try to think of a dish you can actually make. I know. How about a rice ball? Oh, that's very homey. What should I wash the rice with? I'll make the rice. You just shape them. Okay, that was some hard work. But we managed to do it. I think. They didn't quite end up in the shape you showed me. But I'm pretty proud of them. Let's go hand them out to everyone. I see you cooked. I just remembered about something I have to do. Would it be okay if I left for a while? Is this a rice ball? I'm sensing something sinister. I'm not getting near that thing. Keep it away from me. They're so scared. I understand where they're coming from, though. Don't worry, they're edible. See? Oh. <laughs> You're right. They don't look great, but they taste all right. I guess if you say they're okay... Oh, you're right. It's good. <sighs> we managed to get everyone to eat them. They had pretty nice things to say as well. This is amazing. It's the first time I've ever been complimented on my cooking. Really? I guess that's not surprising. I didn't know you'd be so happy. I'm most happy about learning and applying something new on my own. Something that wasn't from Dr. Pope's memories. I see. I guess making rice balls wasn't something the doctor bothered to learn. If I continue to challenge myself like this every day, 
can bring joy to people, building my own memories. Maybe one day the doctor's thoughts will become a thing of the past. I'm sure you're right. I wouldn't feel this hopeful if it wasn't for you. Thank you. You don't need to thank me. Knowing that you watch over me gives me the motivation I need to do my best every day. I can't believe that little child is standing here in front of me right now, teaching me so much. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you don't need to compare me to the past. No, you're not a child anymore. I have to grow too. To not fear the uncertainty of the future, and to move forward. Just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Really? The next time, I'll make rice balls without your help, and you can taste them! What? Uh, I shouldn't have said anything. Yuito, are you hungry? Does it hurt anywhere? Would you like a massage? I'm fine. Oh no, I overdid it again. But you give off this vibe that makes me just want to protect you. <laughs> I feel so much closer to you lately. It feels very warm. It's a little embarrassing, but I feel better talking with you too. Thank you. Didn't I have something to talk to Gemma about? This is nice. This is wonderful! Have a second, Yuito. There's somewhere I'd like to take you. Okay. Where are we going? A cemetery near Sumuragi Tomb. I'm going to go pay respects to my friend Masaki. There wasn't a body we could bury, but his brother added his name to the family grave. So he has a proper grave. Yeah, let's go. Are you sure you don't need more time? Well, this was enough. He already knew everything I wanted to tell him. I was thinking about what went down at Mizuhugawa. There were so many people discarded that way. Yeah. We only found one truck's worth, but I'm sure there were many more before it. They say that many retired soldiers die quickly or go missing. I thought it was just the toll of serving in the OSF, but it could be all the government's doing, trying to secure the brains they need. I wouldn't be surprised if the government did that. It's chilling to think about. They use what's useful and discard what isn't. People are just tools to this nation. But we aren't tools. We have a chance for another life when we can't fight anymore. I won't forgive them for taking away that possibility and discarding them like trash. I feel the same. That's the way they treated my best friend. You mean Nagi? Yeah. He and Masaki both had so much life ahead of them. We need to end these types of things from happening in our lifetime. 
I thought that my role in the OSF was ending. But it looks like there's this giant task still left. I want to right this nation's wrongs and protect the future, as someone who is still remaining. You're not planning on doing that all by yourself, are you? I'd like to help too. Thanks. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Well, shall we head back to the hideout? Wait, there's somewhere I want to stop by. Okay, where are we going? I wanted to go to this restaurant, but I couldn't bring myself to go in alone. I'd be grateful if you came with me. Surprise original Gyoza Suzaku. That's an impressive sounding place. I became more interested in food since our last excursion. I started looking up trendy new restaurants on food websites when I have time. So, you have a new hobby. Is it nearby? Yeah. I realized when I looked at the website that Masaki and I used to go there together all the time. The restaurant's name and atmosphere completely changed after the previous owner died, so I hadn't visited since. But there's no point in only looking at the past. I have to try the new gyoza for myself. Their popular dishes are the Ogre Hell Gyoza and Final Dragon Gyoza? Hard to imagine those are names for food. It doesn't matter what their names are, what matters is how they taste. It's good to be adventurous. <laughs> You're right. Although, that's not something you would have said just a short while ago. Perhaps. I was too stubborn. I need to be less afraid of trying new things. I'll honor Masaki's memory by enjoying what life I have left. You look at peace. I think you've gotten younger. Don't be ridiculous. But a weight has been taken off my shoulders. It's been a while since I felt this way. All right. Let's try these surprise gyoza then. Eat as much as you like. It's my treat. Maybe we can take some back to the hideout for everyone. That's a good idea. I just hope they taste as strange as their names. No kidding. Yuito, will you train with me later? I work harder when someone is with me. Sure. Oh, but take it easy on me. You train pretty hard. Got it. I'll be careful. I mean, I'm not going to try and crush you with weights or anything. I'm devoting myself to becoming your shield. That's what I think is most important right now. Do whatever you think is right, Yuito. Thanks. I don't have to second guess anything when you're with me. I finally heard from Major General Fubuki. He asked us to head to Sumeragi Tomb right away. Apparently, the Chief will be there. Kaito... 
Actually, what's my brother's status now? He's still the acting chief, but most of his authority has been transferred and no one has seen much of him lately. My guess is that the government is going to make him take the fall for everything and abandon him. The chief might have decided to help us because he knows that's what they're going to do. As long as he helps us, it's fine. Now let's head to Sumeragi tomb. Kaito. So you finally made it. You want inside the Sumeragi tomb, correct? Right. In order to close the Kunad gate, there's something we need to check inside the tomb. If Karin really is inside, then he is the key to closing it. If, huh? Not only is everything circumstantial, it doesn't sound very credible either. Is this really what you choose to stake everything on? Very well. If you do indeed manage to save the world, it will reflect quite nicely on the Sumeragi name. Is that all that matters? Hanabi, it doesn't matter what he says, as long as he helps us. I've disabled the security for the entrance. Close the Kunad gate. I heard you stopped Togetsu's plan. You managed to avenge her. You did what I had set out to do. So, you knew about Mom's death? Dad and I. We vowed that we'd destroy Togetsu one day. This isn't what I imagined, but it looks like Dad and I got our wish. Kaito. Go. Do what you need to do. This is the path you've chosen. Thank you. Yakumo Sumeragi should be sleeping in here. Let's find out whether our theory was right. If it's actually the former Major General that traveled to the past. This is what it's like inside Sumeragi tomb. I thought it'd be gloomier since it's a tomb. Yakumo's got a good thing going here. We need to go down. Those stairs go all the way down. I don't think there's any danger to worry about. Let's take them. I don't see any other way down. Yuito, Kazane. Major General Fubuki said he'd join you, too. Should we go meet him? No, he said he can't head there right away, so he'll meet up with you later. Copy that. We'll go on ahead, then. <laughs> These stairs just go on and on! Ugh, what a pain! What's up with this place, Yuito? What? How's this my fault? I mean, it's your family's tomb, right? Install an elevator at the very least, sheesh. Look, a giant mirror. How pretty. Seems too meaningful for just a skylight. I feel like I've been seeing a lot of you lately. Good job. Pretty sure you've reached the bottom floor. Oh, we finally made it. Looks like there's only a single path from here. 
There's a big space up ahead. That's probably where Yakumo is sleeping. I guess we just need to move forward. I was worried it might be a maze in here to prevent grave robbing. Stay on your toes. Just because nothing's happened so far doesn't mean that it... I just felt something in my brain. What? I didn't feel anything. What's going on? What's happening? Signal is deteriorating. Wataru. Damn. We lost the transmission. Where are we? Is this Suo's OSF headquarters? How did we get here all of a sudden? Oh, maybe there was some sort of teleportation trap. Just calm down and take a better look around you. Something doesn't seem quite right. The city looks a little off. This feeling... I remember it from before. Are we inside a brain field? That is certainly a possibility. Since I felt something interfere with my brain, this could be a measure to confuse intruders. Or... Others! This is what happened when we went to the Kronos Terminal. Get ready to fight! There we go! It'll take too long to chip away at its shell. Just use psychokinesis and hit it with something heavy. Seems like we managed to kill all the others around here, but our situation hasn't improved much. We haven't been able to reach Haruko or Wataru either. We should... huh? Karin? Ta-da! As of today, Alice Ichijo is now an official member. Congratulations, Alice. The three of us are together again. It also seems like we have a mission for our new platoon. I'm going to show you two who the real star member is. I just hope the newbie's over-enthusiasm doesn't make her do something reckless. Oh, really? You know, I heard a certain somebody got written up for disobeying orders. Fabuki. <laughs> I mean, that was your 50th write-up. That's quite the milestone. How could I not share it? They say you're a shoe in for Septentrion, Karin, but I guess you've got some issues with your superiors. I don't intend to follow orders I don't agree with. <laughs> That's so like you. Oh, I guess that just means you'll have to climb to the top of the OSF. Sounds like too much trouble. I'm not interested in looking after people weaker than me. Fabuki can do all that instead. You say that, but you always look after your friends in the end. You're usually more helpful than I am. I think you're more suited to run things than me. Actually, I bet you're really gunning for the position. Stop trying to hide it. <laughs> You've been gunning for the top position from the very beginning. <sighs> Listen to the two of you. Honestly, just take the top two positions and you're all set. That's a good idea. If we take the current organization and break them into regiments, Ooh. <laughs> it's 
stop with the creepy laugh. Don't worry, I don't do it in front of anyone else. You'd do so much better in life if you just learned how to have an outside persona. Not having a facade is one of Karn's better qualities. Although, it wouldn't hurt you to learn to have one so you wouldn't get written up so much. What did we just see? Major General Fubuki. And Karin, right? And Aunt Alice? Oh, right, she was your aunt. The three of them were childhood friends. That brought back some memories. Funny, I had forgotten the color of Karin's hair back then. Now it's completely different from Luca's. That's right. It's a pretty rare phenomenon, so it may have something to do with my brother's powers. That looked like it was from when Alice first entered the Force. That would make it over 20 years ago. If this was a brain field, then I guess it would make sense for it to be affected by someone's memories or emotions. I'm not entirely sure what that was, but first we should figure out how to get out of here. Staying here won't help. Let's see what's up ahead. Scenery mixed in too. The connection is so chaotic. Looks like that's the way this space works. This area must be connected to some other location as well. I hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. Sugumi's power? 
This one's stronger than the rest. Fall back and regroup. Are you alright? Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for saving me. Keep your guard up, idiot. You're right. Sorry. How many times have you saved me now? Nobody's counting. Are you two okay? Good. Looks like you're all right. Yeah, this idiot just messed up again. I handled it. There's the tough act again. You need to take better care of yourself. You're hurt. What? I'm sorry. You got hurt because of me. Let me take a look. <sighs> it's just a scratch. Alice is tired. Stay with her, Fabuki. I'm gonna check on the remaining teams. We'll need to regroup the platoon if we're gonna kill that other. Hey, Karin! <sighs> it's gone. That one also had to do with Karin. This field. Maybe it's something he generated. To prevent anyone from getting close to where he's sleeping? Even if that were the case, why show us these memories? I'd think he would rather keep them secret. I agree. My brother doesn't talk about himself much, nor does he like to. The memories are probably mixed in subconsciously. Do what you want. Everything! Control it. Thanks, Anabi. Time to use this. This attack works. There must be a weak spot. Now, here we go. Good attack. 
It might be a good idea to use the surrounding construction equipment for a well-timed attack. Oh! 
What? Okay, use it. You need help? Some help, Luca! I hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. Good as me, though. <laughs> 